In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Bluestacks emulator for Pokemon Unite's game controls. Now, if this looks like it's a little bit too complicated for you, don't worry. I'm going to put a link to my config file in the description down below. So you just have to download that, import it into your own Bluestacks, and you'll have the exact same setup that I have. If it's not too much trouble or this video helps you out, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. All right, so to set up your control settings, you need to come over to the right side of Bluestacks where there's like a little taskbar, and it's the fourth icon down that says Game Controls. Click on that and this little window will open, and then you wanna click Open Advanced Editor. Now that'll bring up this little window that has all these controls on the right side, and I'm just gonna go over which controls that I use and what they're used for and how to set them up. So first we have the MOBA D-pad. This is basically how you run around, and that's right here, so you've just placed it over where your character's movement is. And then once you place it, you need to make sure you highlight it, and just come over here to the bottom left where it says settings on this little cog and click it. It'll open up this window and you need to set the hero dummy position to 50-50 or you can drag it over there, but I would just type in 50-50 and I set my hero speed to five. And the reason you need to set the hero dummy is because that decides where your character will move in relation to where your mouse cursor is. Next we have MOBA skill pads. Now these are all the skills that you use and the reason you have to use the skill pad is because it allows you to aim which direction you're gonna shoot it. So I have one, two, three, and then it's just Q, W, E. And these also have a setting that you need to edit. So highlight it, go to settings, click more settings when that window pops up. And when this window pops up, you'll see where it says cancel skill. You want to tick that box and then set whatever cancel uh, key you want. I have R. And then you need to put that window that it'll pop up with the new um, icon on the screen. And you need to move that where your cancel key is, which you can see mine is right up here. And you have to do that for all three skills. So all three skills, I put them on the same cancel key and have them up here. Now, every other control that I use is just a tap spot, which means you just tap. It just taps like you, do, you would with your finger if you were playing on mobile. And I have um, B for base, D for scoring, F for using my item. And I have tab for jumping. And then I just have uh, one, two, three, four, and five for choosing skills. And then um, obviously space bar for my auto attack. I also use F1, F2, F3, and F4 for um, doing pings. And that's pretty much all you need to play this game. Remember, if this looks like it's too complicated or you don't want to set this up yourself, I put the uh, um, control scheme file in the description down below and all you have to do is come over here at the uh, top right when you get to this window and click import and you can import my control scheme and use it uh, yourself but just remember this is just a general control scheme for any Pokemon I highly recommend that you make your own control scheme for each Pokemon that you play because it'll make it much easier for when you're selecting skills everything pretty much stays the same except for this one two three four five thing because that changes between Pokemon. So what I do, I would do is make your own prof profile for each Pokemon and then have one, two, three, four and have those on the skills that you want to pick. And then you don't have to have a fifth um, button and you'll make sure that you don't accidentally misclick and choose the wrong skill. There's also one very important setting in the game settings and I highly recommend you change this. So go to settings and go to controls and go about halfway down until you see in motion pursuit mode. Turn this off. Basically what it does is, if you're out of range while trying to do an auto attack, it'll walk you to the closest NPC so, so that you're in range and auto attack it. This is a problem for two reasons. One, if you're trying to run away, you have to make sure you take your hand off the space bar or whatever your auto attack button is, or you're gonna turn right back around and start fighting. The other problem it causes is, if you're holding down the space bar, or again, whatever auto attack button you are using, and you forget to let go of it before you do a skill shot, you might miss your skill shot and it might not even go in the direction that you want it to. So I highly recommend you turn this off and learn to play without it. It will help your game out immensely. So while watching this video, you may have noticed that I have an extremely large mouse cursor. Now the reason I have such a big mouse cursor is because when you're playing this game and there's so much stuff going on on the screen, you will lose your mouse if it's small. And if you lose your mouse, you're not gonna be able to run in the right direction. You're not gonna be able to ping on the map and you're not gonna be able to hit your skill shots because you're looking for your mouse. You don't know where it is. So the best thing to do, and I highly recommend you do this, is make a larger mouse cursor. 
and you can do this right in Windows settings. All you have to do is go to your start menu, click on PC settings, go to ease of access, and on the left side here you'll see mouse pointer. Click on mouse pointer, and there you can change the size and the color. I didn't find it necessary to change the color. When you make it this big, it's very easy to see where it is, and it doesn't get in your way. I put it about halfway up and on the on the slider, and that works for me well. So I highly recommend you do this. It will help improve your gameplay a lot. All right, so that was pretty much it. As you can see, using these methods and these control schemes, I was able to get the Veteran Class 3. That only took me two days, guys. I just played for two days nonstop and got Veteran Class 3. I don't actually know if that's great or not because, like I said, I just started playing two days ago. But I did it using this control scheme, and I hope this helps you create your own. Or if you want, like I said, all the links for everything are down in the description below. You can just download my stuff and use it yourself. If this video helped you out at all, please, please like it and consider subscribing because that helps me out. All right, thank you guys. Have a good game.